All right, so I am recording, and uh, I'm a little nearer to the microphone, so you actually will have to raise your voice a little bit, but go ahead and just give me your first name. James Graham. Okay, and then just for the sake of the uh, recording, just uh, briefly again, tell me when you were diagnosed with Parkinson's. I was diagnosed in 1993. Okay, and you... Four. And you uh, have bilateral DBS, which you said was placed in... January, uh, December, Hawaii. Okay, and you uh, indicated, uh, Jim, when I asked that you didn't notice an immediate change or decline in speech, but you do feel over the last couple of years there's been a change. Yes. And how would you characterize your speech now? Slurred and uh, soft. Okay, and so would it be safe to say that people frequently ask you to repeat? Yes. <laughs> you can start with the next instruction, which is to count from uh, 80 to 85. A, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And go ahead and read the words, the phrases rather. Hi, honey, what time, what time is 10? Hold on, I'll be right there. Who is that on the phone? Please, please bring me some more. Okay. Maybe Mike and Milo might come for dinner. Beautiful butterflies put on the garden. And go ahead, yeah, just read the first couple of sentences in that paragraph on the back, please. You wish you know all about my dad. Susan. Well, he is nearly 93 years old. Yeah, he still thinks it's 50 years old. He dresses himself in an old black frock coat. There's just several buttons. Okay, and you can... All right, uh, Jim. So today is uh, February 17th, and uh, we've been working together for about a month. Um, and in the last few weeks, uh, you on a daily basis have been practicing on your own and you've been using uh, some auditory masking uh, as a method to help you generate a louder voice. And um, so what have you noticed um, in response to doing that? The masking noise uh, makes it possible for me to talk over them and talk much louder than I do normally. Okay, do you feel like you're retaining that loudness then in conversation uh, with other people? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, more so in the morning uh, than at night. Okay, so in the morning when you're just generally more rested? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the masking mm -hmm. on and um, I'll ask you to just uh, do some of the tasks that I had you do really at the beginning of therapy. and. Um, starting with counting from 80 to 85, and then you've got some phrases to read, and let's just sort of see what change the masking does create in your voice, okay? So I'm going to, whenever you're ready. Okay, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and okay, and you can go ahead and read those phrases, please. Hi, honey. What time is dinner? Hold on, I'll be right there. Who is that on the phone? Please bring me my water. Maybe Mike and Martha might come for dinner. Beautiful butterflies. Put around the garden. All right, and so yeah, uh, uh, okay. So, what would you say, uh, Jim? Have been um, again? What what tends to be sort of your greatest concern or uh, comments from other people regarding your your speech and your voice? Uh, everyone can hear me much better when I talk. Uh, as opposed to before. Do, do you feel like you're talking louder right now? 
I feel I am. Okay. Uh, so why don't you turn that page over and just read a little bit of uh, the grandfather passage then. You wish to know about my grandfather. Well, he is nearly 93 years old. Yeah, he still thinks as swiftly as ever. Mm -hmm. Anything else that has worked for you in terms of helping generate a, a better voice or speech? Just trying to be aware of, of my surroundings and trying to talk louder.